everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I am bringing you another marinara recipe. I do have one other marinara recipe on my channel, but it's made in the crock pot. And this one's actually a quick stovetop version that you could make in 20 minutes. Now I've had this recipe for a very long time. I can't even remember where I've got this recipe from originally. But we're gonna go ahead and make this today. And I'm gonna show you how quick and easy you could throw together a marinara sauce in about 20 minutes. And 20 minutes is amazing because it takes about 10 minutes to make pasta. So you figure if you are putting the water on the boil, it's gonna take about 20 minutes total to kind of get your pasta done. So by the time your pasta is ready, you can go ahead and have a fresh homemade marinara sauce ready to go. So as always, don't forget if you're not subscribed to my channel to go ahead and subscribe and also give me a thumbs up if you like today's video and always, always leave me comments because I love hearing from you. So let's go ahead and get this recipe started. Now I will leave the ingredients for this recipe below just to make it easier for you to make this on your own. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and put your pan on a medium heat. Now I am doubling today's recipe. So I'm going to give you the ingredients for the doubled recipe. I will have the single recipe again with the ingredients below. Now here's a tip for you. If you are doing your marinara sauce, it is just as easy to make a double batch as it is to make a single batch. So go ahead and whip up a double batch, grab yourself a quart jar or some type of a container, and you can go ahead and throw half the recipe in one quart jar. And the other recipe you could use that day, or if you're doing like I'm doing today in meal prepping, I just have two quart jars ready to go. So once this cools down, I'm gonna dump these both into the quart jars, and then I will have my marinara sauce ready for the next two weeks. This recipe does freeze, so if you wanna go ahead and, you know, once it's completely cool, go ahead and throw that in the freezer, you can do that as well. So again, we're gonna go ahead and start this recipe off. I'm doubling it, just as a reminder, and I think that this recipe is going to be zero smart points on all three plans. The only thing that really has points from this recipe is the olive oil, and there's not enough olive oil in here to even count as a point once you break it down by servings. Now this recipe, I'll have to, I'll put the servings in the comments because I just took a picture of the ingredients and I don't have that in front of me right now. So we're gonna go ahead and add in two tablespoons of olive oil. Again, if you're making one single batch, you're just gonna use one tablespoon of olive oil. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and add in our minced garlic. And I'm just using this kind here from Kirkland's. And this is from um, Costco. So I'm just putting in two tablespoons of this. You can't go wrong, even if you want to throw a little extra garlic in there, you cannot go wrong with extra garlic. So we're just going to go ahead and give that a stir. And this recipe is going to come together super quick. And that's one of the reasons why I do like making my own marinara sauce. Sorry if this is a little loud. Okay, so from here I'm gonna go ahead and add in some red pepper flakes. And you're gonna need one quarter teaspoon if you're making one batch. Again, I'm doubling that for my double batch. Now if you don't like, a, it's not spicy, but if you just, you know, this, this ingredient's optional, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You don't have to put that one in. All right, so we've got that in there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a half teaspoon of kosher salt. And I'll show you the box as soon as I get this poured in. That's here. So I've got my kosher salt in there, and then you're going to want to put in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. So in my case, that's going to be, you guessed it, half a teaspoon. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. All right, so our next ingredient is going to be our crushed tomatoes. And if you could see in the pot, our garlic has browned up, so that's good. 
You always want to get that just, to, just so it gets the raw taste of the garlic out. So we're just going to go ahead and pour that in. That's one. And I'm just using a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And again, I'm doubling mine, so I'm putting in two. And then the next ingredient that you want to put in is I'm using a pack of sweetener. You can use any type of sweetener that you want. Again, I'm using two packets because I'm doubling mine, and you definitely want to add some type of sweetener. If you don't want to use artificial sweeteners, you can use a teaspoon, two teaspoons of sugar. Um, but you're going to have to do your recalculate the points because I don't know if that will make a difference. Um, I've been using sweet and low in mine for quite a while and it works out perfect. So we're going to let that come back up to a simmer and then we're going to go ahead and let this simmer on the stove for 20 minutes. And with that done, you know, once that's done, we're done. So I will come back about midway through and I will show you what that looks like. I'm just going to pop a top on this so that it doesn't bubble up or bubble over or bubble, you know, the bubbles kind of pop when you're doing this. So we're just going to go ahead and let that do its thing. It's going to simmer again. I'll check back in about halfway through and then I'm just going to, I'm going to pause this now. Otherwise I'm just going to keep rambling. So hold please. Okay. So just in case you were wondering when I was talking about, if you've never done this before, this is what happens. It just kind of pops in bubbles in the pot. Did you see that one? So what happens is then it comes up and it hits the lid. So if I didn't have this lid on, this would be all over my stove and my walls and everywhere else. So periodically I stir it. I try to like lift the pot and stick my, my spoon in there real quick so that I stir it so it stops popping. And then other than that, we're just going to go ahead and let this continue to simmer because once it simmers, then the flavors all meld together. And then it becomes less tomato-y, if that's even a word and more marinara sauce like so let's let this do its thing and look i got a pop up here so i'll get that cleaned up and then um let this finish working we've um only been going four minutes so this has about another 16 minutes to go so i'll come back and show you the final product once that's done okay our marinara sauce has just finished so i'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like now pull it off the heat. Hold on a second. Let me just pull that back a little bit so it's not going crazy. All right, that's a little better. All right, so here we go. Now, when I first put this on, all I could smell was tomatoes. Now I smell this marinara smell, the garlic in there, the spices. I mean, you can smell everything going right through this. It no longer smells like just plain crushed tomatoes. And again, zero smart points, all plans. So you cannot go wrong with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool off. I'm gonna pop this into my jars. And then I will have one last thing to do when I'm cooking my, um, we're having baked masa chili this week. So this is one last thing that I have to do when I get ready to cook dinner because it's already done. So I can just throw together the pasta. And then all I do with my baked masa chili is I make whole wheat pasta. I mix the sauce in, I add in some shredded mozzarella cheese, I dump that under the broiler. My husband will have meatballs with his, and then we just serve that hot. So it's super quick, simple night, you know, weeknight dinner. Okay, so here is my marinara sauce. I have that already packaged up into two separate quart-sized jars. And I will have one this week and then again I'll probably put the other one in the freezer to have next week or the week after so it's always nice to have just a couple extra things prepped during the week so I'm gonna sign off from here today I hope that you enjoyed today's video and have a great day and we'll see you next time